All right, here we go. We're going to talk about reference angles in a little bit more detail. Reference angle is basically just a way that we can take a somewhat challenging angle and make it a little bit easier to work with. And this is going to really come into play when we uh, focus on our what we call our special angles and use these three in particular as our reference angles or their radian equivalent because the unit circle has really nice values sine cosine tangent values for those three so uh, in this particular video we're, all of our reference angles aren't going to be in this category but uh, reference angles will be an important skill as we move forward into our unit circle discussion so it's it's really an important thing to know how to do uh, in other words, if I were to ask you, you know, what the uh, what the tangent of maybe this angle right here, you know, that angle might be uh, like 315 or something like that. If I ask you for the tangent of 315, you don't a lot of times want to uh, find the tangent of 15, but we want to find something that is easier to work with and that reference angle will be 45 degrees so then we would just find the tangent of 45 degrees figure that out and then from there just determine whether it's positive or negative so reference angles are an important way to kind of make more challenging problems a little easier to work with uh, this angle on your screen is 160 degrees and it's a what we call a second quadrant angle. Right? This is quadrant one, two, three, and four. So we're in quadrant two. And the reference angle here is going to be, I'm going to put it in green every time, it's going to be the difference between the terminal, the terminal side of this angle, which is where the angle stops. So that's the terminal side. It's going to be the difference between that and the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. So the reference angle is this angle right in here, which is kind of like the shortest distance between the terminal side and the x-axis. And remember, the x-axis is 180 degrees. So really, you're asked the question, what's the difference between 180 and 160? Well, the answer is 20 degrees. And traditionally, we'll use this notation for reference angles, theta prime. So if the original angle is theta, the reference angle is theta prime. All right, let's try a few more. We're going to go pretty quick. So here we go. We have a negative angle. Remember, negative angles go clockwise. And what we're trying to do here is figure out the reference angle. I'll put the reference angle in green. It's right here. So that reference angle is going to be the difference between where that angle stops and the x-axis. Now in this case, the um, angle, since the angle is negative, it goes around more than once, which is kind of interesting. So we have to think about it this way. This is, let me do that again. We go negative 90, negative 180, negative 270 and negative 360 will give you right there all right so we've gone negative 360 to get to that point the degree or the angle keeps going it keeps going to negative 425 so my question is how far does it keep going what is this angle well it's going to be the difference between 425 and 360 so 425 and 360. We're just talking about the difference between these two. So we're literally just going to subtract and we get 65 degrees. So to get from negative 425 to 360, all you do is you go 65 degrees. And reference angles are always going to be talked about in terms of positive degrees or radians. Reference angles are always positive. Speaking of radians, here we are. We're in radians here, so we know that this is zero radians. We know that this is pi over two radians from our last video. This is pi radians. This is three pi over two radians, and this is back to two pi radians. Our denominator is nine, so we want to think about 
everything in terms of denominators being 9. So instead of pi radians, let's think about it as 9 pi over 9. So my reference angle is going to be the difference between the terminal side of this 8 pi over 9 radian angle and 9 pi over 9. So the reference angle is that little angle right in between there. And all you do is just subtract. So eight pi, 9 pi over 9 minus 8 pi over 9. That gives us a reference angle of just 1 pi over 9. Next up. All right, this crazy angle looks like it goes around, definitely goes around once. It's a positive angle. We're in radians. So remember, this is 0. This would be 2 pi. But I want to think about it in terms of something over 9. So how about 18 pi over 9? So this would be uh, 4.5 pi over 9. This would be 9 pi over 9. All right, and this would be... You know, right down here would be 13.5 pi over 9. Now that's not super important because we're going around again. So I know that 31 pi over 9 is definitely bigger than one rotation. One rotation is 18 pi over 9. So it goes 18 pi over 9, and then it goes another 9 pi over 9. So that would be 27 pi over 9. So it goes 27 pi over 9. Let me put that right here. 27 pi over 9. And then it stops right down in here. There's my terminal side. So my question now is, what is this angle right here? That's going to be my reference angle. All right, so the difference between, and I'm going to forget about 9 pi over 9 for a second because it's not, that's too small. We want to think about 27 pi over 9. So what's the difference between 31 and 27? Well, that answer, of course, is 4 pi over 9. So that would be your reference angle. Negative 280. All right, so let's draw this angle first. Remember, in standard position, your origin is your vertex. We're going to go down in the clockwise position. Negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, negative 280 is right there. That's negative 280. That's our theta. Our theta prime, or our reference angle, is the difference between that and negative 360. All right, and that angle, again, is always positive. If you subtract those, you get 80 degrees. Moving on, 10 pi over 3, draw it in standard position. So in terms of over 3, we have 3 pi over 3. This is a positive, so we're going this way. We have 6 pi over 3. And if I do that again, I get 9 pi over 3. And if I do that again, I get, let's see, plus another, that'd be 12 pi over 3. All right, so this is 10 pi over 3. Well, 10 pi over 3 is going to go around once. That would be 6 pi over 3. This is 9 pi over 3 plus another pi over 3 is like right there. And I know that my reference angle is pi over 3. And I know that pi over 3 is 60 degrees, and I have a general idea of what a 60 degree angle looks like. So that would be my reference angle. So let's go backwards in this one. Here I give you an angle, a visual representation of an angle, and I also give you the reference angles, 35. So if my reference angle is 35 degrees and my angle is negative, you can see that it starts this way, it starts clockwise. So I go negative 360, I go negative 360 again, so that's negative 720, plus an additional 35 degrees. So it's negative 755 degrees. That's my theta. Last one. Here we have, a again, a negative degree. It goes clockwise. My reference angle is pi over 6, and I know that this would be 0, 
and negative 12 pi over 6. This would be negative 6 pi over 6, negative 3 pi over 6, and negative 9 pi over 6. I'm writing my denominator as 6 every time because this is given as 6. So I'm looking at an angle that's negative, and it definitely goes negative 3 pi over 6, negative 6 pi over 6, and then an additional pi over 6. So that'll be negative 7 pi over 6 radians. That's my theta in this case. So there you go. A couple quick examples there. I guess it wasn't so quick. It was about 10 and a half minutes, 11 minutes. But I uh, hope that makes some sense. As, as we move into our unit circle, it's going to be an, an extremely important skill in order to get the reference angle. And most of the reference angles as you move forward, as I said, are going to be pi over 6, pi over 4, or pi over 3. 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. These are the special angles that uh, we learn about when we talk about special right triangles. And they have really nice uh, values in the unit circle. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>